To get the most out of VS Code, be sure that you've customized your icons, your themes, your keyboard maps the way that you want. Hey chatters, I'm Brendan, and in today's episode of Dev Chatter, we're going to be talking about three things that you may not know about VS Code. Let's get started. Did you know in VS Code, you can actually change how the icons look on this left-hand sidebar? When you're inside of the Explorer, you're probably just used to looking at the defaults. If we want to change this, you can actually go, there is another default installed. Come down here to the little gear icon to get to your Manage menu, and then go up to File Icon Theme. With this open, you'll notice that there are None, where you won't get file icons, Minimal, and SETI. By default, you're on SETI. If we hit the up arrow on our keyboard, we get up to Minimal, and you'll see that now it is either a file or a folder, and there's pretty much no other icon. If you go to None, they all disappear. But this last option, Install Additional, will do a search inside of your extensions. If you click on this, you'll notice it brings up the extension in the sidebar, and does a search for Tag Icon Theme. Now, my recommendation for icon themes is I like VS Code icons. However, this may not be your preference. You may prefer the ones in Material Icon Theme, which is another very popular theme. Either way, you can pick the ones you like. So we're going to install VS Code icons. Let's install Material Icons. And let's pick another one, JetBrains. Because I have used a lot of JetBrains products in the past. Let's go take a look at how these look in Visual Studio Code. So let's open up Explorer so we have a view of that. You'll notice it switched me over to these, but I can open up the icon theme now, and here's the original SETI. These are the VS Code icons that I mentioned. These are the ones I like. And then you may also like the uh, JetBrains icon theme that we've got here. Uh, looks like this one didn't know about C Sharp, so maybe I'll try the other ones. Uh, here's None. Here's the Material one, which uh, is very popular as well. So you'll notice Material and VS Code icons have some similarity, but they're not exactly the same. So they have some similar themes here. Uh, there's a good amount of color, and you can really tell the difference between stuff. So compare that to the original, and you'll see that this is a pretty striking difference. So choose what you like and you can change around easily. If you ever want to get rid of them, you can just uninstall the extensions you didn't like. So if you didn't like one of your icon packs, just get rid of it and it won't be in the set. And you may like different ones depending on what kind of project you're working on. Did you know in Visual Studio Code, you can pull up the keyboard shortcuts and search for them, change them, and also have a key map that you can print out and view? Let's take a look at that. So, one thing that I love in Visual Studio Code is that they have a lot of keyboard shortcuts and they try to tell you about them. So starting on this screen, you'll notice that it tells me this whole sequence of keyboard shortcuts, how to show all commands, go to files, find in files, start debugging and toggle a terminal, awesome stuff. In addition, whenever you're mousing over something, they'll frequently tell you what it is and the keyboard shortcut. Notice extensions has one, and then there's run and debug, source control, the search, and in Explorer. Every one of these has a keyboard shortcut to open it. If I were to go here and do Control shift x it will switch me over to that. Let's bring up the keyboard shortcuts menu. There's a couple of ways we can do that. The first way, and the one I recommend, because it's pretty easy to remember, if you remember, keyboard shortcut. That starts with K and S. I will hold Control and hit KS. And that brings up keyboard shortcuts. Once I've done that, I can find the keyboard shortcut that I want by searching for it. So if I type go to, I can see a whole bunch of different ways of navigating around. Now, maybe you can't remember KS as keyboard shortcuts. Well, you can also find it by going down here to the gear and clicking on keyboard shortcuts. Doing this will bring up the keyboard shortcuts menu again. Now with each one of these, you could make a modification. So if you wanted to change one of these copy keyboard shortcuts, you can click on this little piece here, and it will have you press your desired keyboard shortcut. Now, I don't want to change mine, so I'm going to click out of it. But you can modify any one of these that you like. Now, one tip that I have for 
anyone who is trying to learn keyboard shortcuts is get a physical printed copy of a keyboard map. Now, obviously I can't print this, and this is all of them. Probably don't need all of them, but there are key maps that exist and they have been made available to us by the Visual Studio Code team. They've made a couple of their own, one for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So whichever platform you're on, you can find the keyboard shortcuts that are for your system by default. To get to it, just hit Control Shift P to open up this menu and type in keyboard shortcuts and you'll notice that it comes up with reference. When you do this, that's going to open up the reference page. So it's going to open this in your browser, take you to this PDF, and you can print out a copy. Now the reason I recommend printing out a copy is because it sits physically next to you and that really does help people to learn and remember because you'll see that and it is a physical reminder that you should be looking up and using those keyboard shortcuts. So give this one a shot and see if it helps you learn some of those keyboard shortcuts so you don't have to look them up inside of VS Code all the time. Did you know that in VS Code you can actually change your key map completely? Visual Studio Code, I know this will be shocking, is not my first editor. In fact, I've used many others. I have used IntelliJ IDEA, for example. I've used Visual Studio, to no one's surprise. Heck, I've worked in Notepad++. I've worked with Nano. I've worked with Vim. I've worked with Emacs. I've worked with Android Studio. I've used Writer. There are a lot of editors. I'm not even naming half of the ones I've probably used. And each one of those editors has a different key map. Now, some of those, you can use that same key map here in VS Code, as people have made extensions that will allow you to change your key map to the full set of another system. Now, if you do that, you'll still be able to reset it back to the original if you end up not liking it or want to switch to the VS Code one. But if you're coming from somewhere else and are having a hard time getting used to the new keyboard shortcuts, then go ahead and try this. To get there, let's open up the gear. If we bring up the Manage menu using the gear, you can go in and you can say Migrate Keyboard Shortcuts From. And when you click on this, it's actually going to bring up Recommended Key Maps. So these are the extensions I was talking about. So if you really know Vim, you can grab, you know, the Vim extension and it will make Visual Studio Code more like Vim. You'll get an editor that feels like Vim. If you're used to Sublime Text, Congratulations, you can get Sublime Text Key Map and Settings Importer right here. If you are a JetBrains user and you have used IntelliJ IDEA for a long time and you know that keyboard shortcut set, heck, I know that keyboard shortcut set. It's actually the set I use when I'm in ReSharper in Visual Studio. This will get you a lot of your settings, including your key bindings, if you use, for example, WebStorm, PyCharm, <laughs> PHPStorm. They list a few others, yeah. So if you are used to IntelliJ IDEA and the other JetBrains products, this will make VS Code a little bit easier for you and then you don't have to learn a new set. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Dev Chatter. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below and try to catch us live. You'll find links to that down below as well as our Discord. Thanks for watching and happy coding. We'll see you next time.